Hello everyone, today we will be talking about BIM integration features in Protostructure. With Protostructure, you can model, analyze and design multi-material building structures using a central structural BIM model. You can then share the BIM model to various other BIM platforms with bespoke links and IFCs. After you're done with reinforced concrete design, you can create automated and interactive reinforced concrete details with proto details, including smart drafting features and component design as well. You can push your steel models down to proto steel for connection design and fabrication. We also have beam links for analysis data with well known software, including OpenSeas, SAP, and ETAPS. Design documentation is also shareable in common formats including Office and PDF. We continue to deliver industry-leading beam integration. Protostructure can now receive models from a wide range of IFC sources like architectural and other structural software. The biggest hurdle that stands in the way of effective beam integration today is the different implementations and interpretations of data among existing software. That's why we created an IFC and DXF import guideline that will show you the best practices to effectively communicate with IFC files. When it comes to BIM, every company has its own unique way of working, fine naming conventions parameter names, family designations, all can be different. We understand and recognize that each designer needs a flexible approach to creating and sharing project information. With our dedicated Revit add-on, you can use any Revit template to start communicating with Protostructure. We have developed a new family mapping tool that enables you to use your own families to match your workflow. We have enhanced external reference drawing management significantly with Protostructure 2021. You can now manage your external DXF drawings from a single interface. Protostructure allows you to load external DXF drawings and show them as ghost reference layers under your model. If you have your geometry information in a less intelligent format like a 2D or 3D DXF, you can also bring it into protostructure. Usually, 2D key plans prove themselves to be the most effective and fastest method of integration. Since CAD format does not have intelligent structural object data, some rules have to be established. You can find the advisory notes in our IFC and DXF import guide. A structural model can be created or enhanced by directly importing a three-dimensional DXF file. Your DXF file should include polyface mesh entities inside block entities if you wish to import a 3D physical model. However, if your model consists of only analytical wires, then 3D DXF files should include line objects. Ok, so that we have talked about the new features in ProtoBeam 2021, let's see it in action. Here we have an IFC file, and let's open it with a free IFC viewer. As you see, there are concrete and steel elements inside the IFC file. This is nothing but a preliminary structural system. Uh, we will get this into protostructure. We will complete the model, analyze, design and create some detailed drawings.
Let's create a new project in protostructure. Pick a name. And pick a template. A blank workspace will be created for us. Under the BIM ribbon tab, choose IFC import. Select the file and start the import process. Let's open up a 3D view. As you see, the model is imported with all the members. Let's complete the model by adding additional steelwork. Pay attention that existing story and grid definitions and their associations are automatically imported. I will now add trusses on the fourth floor. Let's add a parallel cord truss between the columns. Trusses in protostructure are highly customizable. I will change the member positions and the profiles to suit my requirements. And also, I will get rid of the steel frame here. Lastly, I will reduce the height of the trusses. Let's create the purlins. It is sufficient to pick the purlin member on the ribbon and select the trusses that the purlins will be inserted. Trusses in between will be automatically recognized and purlins are generated automatically. I will finish the model by inserting horizontal and vertical braces. I can insert multiple braces at once. Multiple brace insertion is one of the new features in Protostructure 2021. Finally, let's insert the girts. The insertion is similar to the purlins, only this time I will select two columns instead of two trusses. Similar to other members, girt member is also highly parametric. The imported IFC file is in now structural engineers domain in protostructure. So, as engineers, we will refine the retrieved IFC, define materials, loadings and all. 
When our job is finished, the BIM model is enriched with analysis and design data. Let's review the parameters and materials. Also, we should be generating the load combinations properly, conforming to the selected code of practice. I am now setting the wall and slab model options before analyzing the structure. Let's start the analysis. Protostructure will automatically create analysis model from the physical BIM model. Finite element analysis is automatically done and all seismic checks are performed. Let's briefly check the results including displacements, diagrams and contours and continue with the design. Under the Design tab, I can perform batch design of all members. Let's perform reinforced concrete column, beam, and steel member designs. After the design is finished, you can review the design status of members using visual interrogation. Also, you can drill down to the details of the design of a member. I need to share and coordinate this model to other colleagues. I can send the model back to IFC if needed. Under the BIM ribbon tab, we have all the coordination tools. I simply select export IFC file. If you need a more sophisticated BIM transfer to Revit, we have developed a dedicated plugin to seamlessly transfer protostructure models back and forth to Revit. You have to install ProtoBeam plugin and you will see ProtoBeam ribbon tab inside Revit. ProtoBeam natively recognizes protostructure models and directly converts them to Revit with minimal data loss. You can Either start a Revit project with our off-the-shelf protostructure template or you can use your own template as well. Protobeam will allow you to map your custom families to protostructure members and save the mapping for later use. Thank you all for listening to me. If you want to continually hear about our updates and events, follow us on social media and subscribe to our news channel.